Why is this happening to you? If you are wondering why is this happening to you, whatever is going on in your life, why is it that you are suffering through this situation in your life, then this reading is for you, okay? This reading is intended to reach those who want to receive an answer on why are they going through a certain path of struggle, uncertainty and darkness in their lives, okay? What is the reason behind it? What is the, what is the universal message? What is the message from the cosmos on this path that they are in, okay? So we have three piles here wheel of fortune card from three different decks okay so pile number one is the wheel of fortune card from the what is this deck this is the radiant this is the radiant wide sorry the radiant wise spirit tarot pile number two is the wheel of fortune from the runic tarot and pile number three is the Wheel of Fortune Tarot, uh, sorry, the Wheel of Fortune card from the Arcanum Tarot. So you can take your time and pick which is the one that calls your attention, which, which Wheel of Fortune card attracts your attention, okay? You can pause the video here and the description box will have the timestamps for you so that you can directly go to your chosen pile. Okay, so let's start with pile number one. So pile number one, whoever chose this uh, deck, the Radiant Wise Tarot and the Wheel of Fortune card from this deck, let's find out why is this happening to you? Whatever your situation may it be, why are you going through this? What is the lesson behind it? Why are you going through this difficult path in your life? Pile number one. Why are you going through this? I see that this path is regarding trying to succeed over something, especially in your career path, trying to gain attention, trying to gain acknowledgement or appreciation for your work and you are not getting it okay so the situation for pile number one is related to their career related uh, to your uh, you know getting known getting acknowledged for the work you do and you are struggling to do that i see that you are also attracting a lot of uh, you know, toxic psychic attacks on you. People are jealous of your, uh, the way you work. You know, people are talking behind your back. People are, there are some people around you who do not want you to succeed, okay? Uh, pile number one, I'm being honest. I see there, you are surrounded by people at your works, at your workplace, special, uh, at your workplace specifically, where you know people are trying to pull you down people don't want to see you succeed people don't want you to be noticed for what you do they will be trying to uh you know hide your uh, achievements they'll try to eclipse your uh, brightness eclipse your real luminosity pile number one okay they don't want you to be noticed by the hierarchy for some reason. They are very jealous. They know that you are capable. You have the skills. You can shine bright and they don't want you to, you know, get noticed. And that's why they'll try their best to push you down. Pile number one. So this is the difficult path that you are on. You're trying to get yourself be noticed, but you are struggling, okay? I see that soon you will, there is nothing that can stop you, pile number one. I see the sun card here and this is a huge confirmation that it's just a matter of time, okay? You are on your way, no matter how people try to push you, you will succeed. For fame and recognition, pile number one, I would highly request uh, you guys to get this bracelet 
which I make myself. It is turquoise and citrine and it has the word glory on it and it is very very beneficial in getting you noticed. Okay, from nowhere you will start getting recognition for your work. So pile number one, if this resonates with you, please go and you can purchase it from my website link which is mentioned uh, in my YouTube. Okay. Or if you don't want to purchase it from me, you can purchase it from anywhere else. You can, in that case, you can wear one turquoise bracelet and one citrine bracelet. I have made them, I have combined them two in one bracelet so that you don't have to wear two. So the choice is up to you. But citrine and turquoise will enhance your energies beautifully so that you achieve uh, what you deserve okay you achieve the recognition that you deserve pile number one what else i see that pile number one you're struggling to get a promotion or you have been let down by your team uh you know and that's why you're asking this question why is it happening with me like you are so deserving okay I see that you are very deserving. You are very, very, you know, um, enthusiastic about your career. You are very driven. You're very passionate. People love your work. You know, you're very talented, but somehow you are trying and failing to achieve the success that you deserve. And that's why you are constantly in the mode of self-doubt. OK, you are asking yourself, why me? Why am I not? getting what i deserve why am i going through this okay and the answer is that you are being pulled down by people who are jealous of you there is a lot of psychic attack on you okay there is a lot of negative uh, toxic people around you who are intentionally putting that energy on you so that you do not succeed okay and but although although no matter how much they try i still see your light peeking through the darkness okay so this is just a matter of time. I see like by maximum by August, you will be seeing this path of success shining bright in your life. OK, you will get something, a good news, a, a, a very joyful news that will uh, make you very happy regarding the situation that you're facing. OK, so mid of uh, mid of July to mid of August is the time frame that I see something uh successful is happening in your career life and you will be very very delighted to get this news what is the advice for you right now what is the advice for you right now pile number one you need to hide your uh you need to be a little more secretive about your intentions you need to be a little more secretive about what you are doing okay please do not disclose your plans your goals to others because you are in that mode of attracting a lot of psychic attack and you don't want people you don't want unwanted attention from negative people who want to pull you down so your advice is to hide your advice is to not be very open about your achievements your success let your work do the talking okay do not uh, boast about your skills do not boast about your plans do not let anyone you know you can't trust anyone with your plans here you need to keep that to yourself you need to be uh, probably if you really want to the most you can do is whisper it into your pet's ears or your your cat or dog whoever it is but never to any human being okay you will unwantedly attract a lot of psychic attack and so you are advised to not let anyone know of your future plans, your goals, your uh, whatever you plan for. OK, so always, always keep it a secret. So that was a quick reading for you. Pile number one. Let's move to pile number two. So pile number two, whoever chose the Wheel of Fortune card from this deck, the runic tarot. Let's find out why are you going through this situation? OK, why is it that? Uh, why is this happening to you okay so let's find out why is this happening to you pile number two whatever situation you are in whatever difficult situation that you are in why is this happening to you 
pile number two. Why is this happening to you? Six of cups. I see that you are pile number six. I get a very strong feeling that you are seeing someone in your dreams repeatedly. Or you're missing this person out of the blue from nowhere. Okay, you are thinking of a past situation over and over again, or you're thinking of someone from your past over and over again. Okay, or you could be dreaming of someone from your past, maybe from your childhood, from somewhere, uh, you know, some point of your life where, you know, you were in contact with this person for a short period of time. And now you are constantly dreaming about that person and you want to know why. Okay. You feel this intense connection with someone and you have no clue why is this happening to you. You have no clue why is this person constantly on your mind. You have no clue why is this person creeping into your dreams. Why is this person making you feel a certain way. Okay, this person is constantly on your mind for no specific reason. You may not even be in a relationship with this person ever. You may not even have a conversation with this person ever in the past but still why let's find out file number two why are you having persistent feelings and thoughts about this person this is definitely a past life situation i can see that six of cups is telling me that this is this is happening because you are connected from a past life okay you have had probably one or more past lives together and that's why you are you know this is a, a karmic situation i see the wheel here i see the big vizier wheel it is it is a very very lucky symbol it is a symbol of uh growth abundance and okay new opportunities so i see that this person also feels the same way for you Okay, this is a both way thing. This uh, person feels the same like you feel. Okay, it is a it is a, 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 a this person is in sync with your energy. Okay, it's not that it's just you who feels such and such about uh, this person. This person feels your energy too. And I see that's because you are connected very deeply. The root of this relationship is very deep and grained in a past life uh, situation. Okay, in a past life, you were husband and wife, you were spouses, you were uh, connected in a family, you were, you had a child together, you had a home together, you had something very deep to do with each other. Okay, this was a very, very deep karmic relationship in the past. And that's why in this life, you have crossed your paths together and this person is constantly in your mind and you are constantly on that person's mind as well. Okay, this is a karmic connection. The hermit. And both of you are, you know, both of you are silent about each uh, of this of this uh, feeling that you both feel for each other. OK, you are un unaware of that. Uh, you are totally unaware that this person feels the same for you. And the person in question is also totally unaware that you constantly dream about this person. You constantly think about this person. OK, there is a feeling of uh, secrecy. There is an energy of hiding. There is an energy of deep tantric uh, energy here there is a very very strong potent hidden rooted energy which is you know coming from the past life okay you see this image of this tree which is like a priest okay this is like a banyan tree which where the roots are forming this face of a priest i see that this is a very very highly spiritual connection okay pile number two it's like the feeling is very otherworldly, okay, pile number two. I would not lie to you. This is a feeling of a very, very other otherworldly feeling where you can't really explain what's going on. 
it's not a romantic feeling it's not a sexual attraction it's not something that you can put a finger on okay pile number 2 this is something very very unique this is a strong connection that you feel to with this person and not and don't know how to you know explain this connection what does this connection mean to you does it mean to you anything does this relate does this connection means anything to this person at all or is it you so such thoughts keep coming in your mind and you keep it a secret and the person also i see that keeps it a secret so it is all in your hearts it is all in your minds and no one around you knows about this except you two okay very unique energy here what is your advice here what should you do king of cups you need to balance your emotions okay you need to not try and not you need to accept it accept that you have a very deep rooted past life connection with this person which is why you know this person comes up in your dreams do not let this thing affect your daily life do not get obsessed with this feeling that your emotional well being gets hampered okay for example you see this person in your dream and the next day entire day you keep thinking of uh, you know why you saw this person what is this person thinking and you ruin your day you know your productivity goes low and you are not able to concentrate on the works that needs to be done so your advice pile number 1 is to let it go accept it maintain your emotional stability because you don't want your emotional stability to go for a toss thinking of what happened in the past accept that you are carrying cords of a past life connection with this person and this is a way of you know this is a way of the universe where you feel connected and be happy about this connection cherish this connection okay cherish this connection and when if you have a dream about this person if you just have a thought about this person just accept it do not push it away because the more you push it away the more strongly it is going to affect you so you need to find balance emotionally you need to take it in a fact that doesn't affect you as much okay you need to be not feel overwhelmed by the feelings that this person brings to you the thought of this person brings to you okay So that is your advice file number 2 very interesting i hope this was helpful if it resonated please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't if you're new to my channel you're welcome uh don't forget to join me for a live free tarot reading tomorrow that is 5 pm ist and i come live every saturday at 5 pm ist so i wish to see you and join me live for a free reading if you're interested so make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell button so that you never miss uh, any upload from me okay so let's move to pile number 3 so pile number 3 whoever chose the wheel of fortune from the arcanum tarot let's see why is this happening to you why is the situation that you are stuck in uh, is happening to you what is the reason behind the situation that you feel stuck in why is this happening to you pile number 3 Why is this happening to you? Ten of Swords. Pile number three. I see that you have been betrayed by someone. You have been lied to by someone. Someone has, uh, you know, caused you a lot of hurt and betrayal. Okay, someone has um, let you down. Someone has hurt you very, very badly. And probably this has been a pattern in your life. someone you trust comes back and uh, backstabs you and that's why you are you are trying to know why is this happening to you okay so what is this deception that has happened to you what has hurt you so much pile number 3 what is this hurt about this hurt is about a relationship okay there is a lack of balance in this relationship probably you've given your all 
and this person uh, denied to uh, give you anything in return okay this is an, a deep feeling of uh, rejection a feeling of betrayal it's like you put so much of your energy your love your time into into building a relationship and when um, the time came for that person to pay you back that person denied and walk away leaving you alone in a pool of blood leaving you alone heartbroken okay so that is the energy that i see here pile number three and i also see that this person denies to reconcile probably there is a lack of balance in this relationship and that's why this has happened Pile number three, I also see that you tend to give in a lot more than you're required to. So why is this happening to you? Why are you hurt over and over in a relationship is because you don't see, you don't maintain that balance in a relationship. You tend to overgive, you tend to overdo and you expect the same from the other person which, which lets you down. Okay. I see that the other person takes you for granted. I see that you fall, uh, you fall weak in front of uh, your person. You fall weak in front of someone you love. You give all your power to the person you love and they make use of it, bringing a lot of imbalance in the relationship, pile number three. I see that the person who, with whom you're dealing with could be a fire sign. Okay, they could be very charming, very attractive, very, very, uh, you know, they might have all the qualities of a person that people dream of, but they lack the quality of being equal in love. Okay, so why is this happening to you? Pile number three is because you give all your power to the person you love. You don't maintain that balance, no matter how much you feel the need to give it all how much you feel the need to give yourself fully and surrender fully to this person. There is something that needs to be held on by you. Okay, there has to be a balance. There has to be a balance of give and take in your relationship. Otherwise, you will fall weak and everything will be taken away from you. Okay, so that's a pattern that is repeating in your life. And it's better that you learn this as soon as possible so that you don't suffer this up over again. What is the advice? What should you do now? What is the advice for you now? File number three. What is the advice for you now? File number three. Six of Swords, pile number three, you need to heal your broken heart. You need to walk away from things that cause you anxiety, that cause you disturbance, that cause a lot of emotional turmoil, pile number three. Okay, you have to move away from this energy. You have to pull yourself together. You have to build yourself together and walk away from things that are making you feel heavy. Okay, there's no way out. If you're thinking there will be a reconciliation, no, there is not. Because I see this person is toxic for you, pile number three. Even if this person comes back, they will repeat the same games with you. And that is not what you want. You need to move away from this person. Okay, you need to move away from this toxic situation because you are taken, you are being taken for granted. Okay, your light is being shadowed by this person. And you don't want a person that shadows you. you. You want a person who helps you bring your light to the fullest. Okay. So your advice is to move away from this cloudy, dark, dingy energy towards bright, beautiful, uh, calming waters towards a beautiful, bright horizon. Pile number three. I hope this was helpful. Uh, Give me a like button if you like this reading and if it resonated and private readings are open. If you want to reach out to me for a private reading, I do written readings only on my website. So you can uh, reach out to me, you can purchase a reading on my website. And I also offer free readings uh, every Saturday, 5 p.m. IST. So if you want a quick free reading from me, 
over uh, my live session on uh, YouTube. You are most welcome to join in tomorrow 5 p.m. every Saturday. Okay, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you are notified. Uh, hit the bell button so that you're notified whenever I am live. Okay, so I will see you very soon in another pick up aisle reading. Till then, take care. Bye bye.